With the recent advancements of computers and technology, there are very few artists who still practice the art of painting by hand. Since 1992, Stray Horse Art has been providing Summit County resorts, such as Keystone and Arapahoe Basin, with mountain bike and ski trail maps. My name is Kevin Maston. Um, I'm a commercial artist. Uh, my company is the Maston Group, but I have two different uh, companies going on right now. One is Stray Horse Arts and one is the Maston Group. Stray Horse is a new brand, if you will, that I'm starting in, in order to sell some of my artwork to a person who might not know me per se, um, but might recognize some of the work that we're producing. The term stray horse comes from, for about the last 10 years or so, I've been doing uh, burrow racing where you uh, run alongside a pack burrow and uh, the Leadville Burrow Race course goes up uh, Stray Horse Gulch. Something about Stray Horse also that I liked was it seemed like it was a diversion, you know, a stray. It was something going off in a little bit different direction, so I always kind of liked the meaning of it as well. This past summer, Kevin was asked to construct a trail map for Arapahoe Basin, showcasing their 400-acre expansion. This was A Basin's first expansion since opening in 1946. That was a major expansion, and that's actually this one here. This is um, uh, Montezuma Bowl, and it really changed the complexion of Arapahoe Basin. Since I was going to be doing the illustration on the back side, we thought it would be a good opportunity to repaint both so that they're both done in the same painterly style, because even though we're all doing similar things, everyone's style's a little bit different, so we wanted the front side to match the back sides. Well, whenever I'm starting a project, or ex at least explaining how the process works, I think it's important to be able to show what the final product is so that you have an idea of where I'm headed with the project. And so this is the final result here, is the, actually the pocket map that a skier would put in his pocket. What I've got here are four different quadrangles that cover the area that we're talking about. Um, a Basin falls over these four quads, and I've just folded them together so you can see what we're talking about. I like starting with, with tracing paper. Tracing paper is fast, it's easy, you can lay one on top of another, correct your, your work. And I just did kind of a basic study of the mountain, and you can kind of see what I've got going on here. We've got the summit here, you've got the base area here, the top of Paul Levicini over here, excuse me. And I just did a base analysis of um, the relative elevations at the base area is at 10,000, this midway point is at 11,5, and then the top is 3. As the mountain gets higher up and further away from you, those proportions can get relatively smaller. And I just wanted to make sure that our proportions were making sense. I keep adding up detail. I start um, sketching in what I call the tree pods, the major pods that separate one run from another, and then start um, indicating some of the major thoroughfares. Um, this is the, the longest run on um, Arapahoe Basin, and it's, it's the easiest course, so it has to have a nice, slow, easy feel to it, whereas the more difficult runs need to have a more vertical, you know, a directly downward approach. Once I get to that stage, then I like to start working with um, some more specific imagery. We'll get um, some really nice um, aerial photography. This is one that I um, these are images that I pulled together from our local county uh, GIS department. This is uh, at the top of the Norway lift, which is where the new Montezuma Bowl lift is going to pick up over here. And so we wanted to make sure that this was illustrated in such a way that the skier knew which direction to get off. Um, once I got to this point, I wanted to figure out what my background was going to look like. We went to the top of the mountain and found what some of the views were from this area so that when a person is standing, for instance, at this top ridge, and they're looking south and west, you'll see Guillaume and Baldy, some of these familiar landmarks. So we wanted to make sure that we illustrated these in here. So this is a kind of a progress report painting, if you will, where you can see that I've started getting some detail in the background here, but the front is still very loose. Started to sketch out the base area to make sure that I'm allowing enough space for the parking lots and then digitally putting in the lifts to make sure that they're lining up on the painting. Once the name goes on there, then I'll never go back and touch the painting again. So that's, that marks it as finished. So if I'm ever going to have to make a correction to it after I've put my name down there, then we'll do it digitally. For more information on Stray Horse Arts, please visit their website at strayhorsearts.com.